This is Plus TV Africa, where big stories live. Welcome to another very interesting episode of Tea Time, as we bring you the biggest entertainment stories, and of course, very interesting guests in the world of entertainment. My name is Elsie Godwin, and I have my co-anchors with me, Ife Omai and Ife Oluwa Oshoke. Good. Hello. Good. How are you doing? Well, how are you? Mm, I'm okay. And you? Yeah. And good. you? <laughs> and you? How many I times you okay first now? Okay. Mm. No, you said it to her. Now I'm asking you. Mm. You think yeah. the, an uh, the answers will change? Yeah, per possibly. Person you know, yeah, this might be personalized. Like, okay. Maybe I know a thing or two. You don't. Maybe no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's start with the story on Johnny Depp. Um, said to file lawsuit against the son over alleged phone hacking. Depp's lawyer Adam Wildman said in a statement that the son and its sister entity illegally hacked hundreds of people over a period of years, as evidenced by the tens of millions of pounds they have already paid out to dozens of their victims. Wildman intends to pursue legal actions alleging multiple breaches of his privacy, including phone hacking. Depp is already suing the son's executive director and his publisher news group newspapers over a 2018 article which referred to him as a wife beater in reference to allegations made by his ex-wife Amber Heard during their divorce. Um, I, I, I think there's a bit of an obsession here with the son because for you to be stroking someone from 1995 mm, or right. 8 or something it's to 2004, like yeah it's a bit much. Phone um, hacking, like what kind of news is it that you're looking for that you need to breach people's privacy? Mm, it's and a bit weird to me. Uh, obviously the argument here is that you know if you have nothing to hide it shouldn't be a problem but still there's still the bigger overall problem in regards to this desperation to break the news and not just break any news but like infiltrating people's lives violate their privacy like i think there's a, a big problem with that and they should really be sanctioned because i think if the son finds a way to get out of this rabbit hole then you are creating a society that um you don't want because then other people have to, the boldness to start to look into that they've actually been paying for it because they've had to settle a lot of people so mm. And I don't think um, if Johnny, if his um, lawyer decides to go ahead with this, I don't think the settlement is going to be it's as small. easy mm. as the other one. So, um, I, well, I don't know what their aim is, but I'm sure they're getting their money's worth. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think there's a problem with um, journalists um, globally. They tend to infiltrate people's privacy. Even let's not even don't let us look really? at the tablet. Yes, um, let's look at paparazzi's now. The ones paparazzi's that paparazzi is not a it's not they're journalism. Not, relax your okay. mind. They're trying to get exclusive pictures so that we have the death of Princess Diana and stuff like that. They're trying to get um, exclusive. So journalists are also trying to get exclusive. So they go all out to get what they want. Now in Johnny Depp's case, he's saying that um, they, they gave out personal information that was only on his phone, and that's the only reason why it feels like um, they're acting to his phone, right? So let's see how this goes. If they're able to prove that they got those informations from someone else, maybe a close source like we see most of the time, then maybe they will get out of this, but we all know that it's a journalist's job to get the extraordinary news. So, but it's not their job to breach people's privacy. Yes, no, that's what I'm not. saying, unless they're able to prove this. But if you're not able to prove it, how are you going to say it? Because it's not like he has a known uh, okay, fact. I'm just it's going just to because speak they for have information. journalists on the table. I feel like when we are trained, the job is to investigate. There's a difference between investigating and, and um, probing. That's the, there's a big difference with mm. that. And it's not just a journalist thing. It's um, people in general. There's a lot of people in every industry that you find that don't have a very good line of morality with their ethics and how they work. Um, it just happens to be that in journalism that you find that it's a lot more common because you can easily switch from investigation to probing people. But it's not, it's not just a journalist thing. I think even with like IT, you see people hacking in um, um, the um, banking industry, you see people stealing money from other people. So it's not, uh, I don't think it's special to that and this is a celebrity that has had a lot of controver um, controversy around his name and everything so there was already the motive and then you add somebody anyone journalist or not who already has an a, a access. Blur, yes access and blur lines to what ethics and what the boundaries are then like this could happen to him in his personal accounts it could happen to him like in like a lot of other factors because of look at the rehab that we're talking about that was mm -hmm. a journalism that was so once once you're already like a public person this is one of the things that come with it where people are desperate enough to like do us i guess you can say evil things unethical, or things unethical things to um to get information or to get ahead
Okay, we'll mm. keep an eye on this one, but let's not forget that the previous case he has with them is still ongoing as well, which is yep. calling him a wife beta based mm -hmm. on what um, the wife said, ex-wife said. Okay, moving on. Tiwa Savage was criticized over comments she dropped on Kelly Rowland's photo. Kelly Rowland took to Instagram to share a lovely photo of herself rocking a swimwear piece. Nigerian singer Tiwa Savage dropped a comment on the post saying, oh my God, not even a single stretch mark, end of quote. The comments did not sit well with a lot of people as they felt it was inappropriate and offensive. Um, however, Kelly Rowland, Kelly Rowland weighed in on the drama by revealing that she actually has stretch marks. Um, she says, I have them. Um, I'll post a picture sooner or later so you can see. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That she has nothing to hide. <laughs> uh, <laughs> this is my issue with body positivity mm -hmm. is that I understand, yes, that you can, you should be comfortable in your skin no matter what that is. Um, if you're chubby, if you have rolls, if you have stretch marks, if you have cellulites and all of that stuff. And I think those things need to become like... Um, acceptable to see in the media and like you know entertainment spaces and all of that stuff yes but, but I still think that you can flex if you want to if you have your fine abs like ga 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 they're six and splitting I should be able to make a like I should be able to praise you for that if you have no cellulite or no stretch marks which are really rare because the skin does that almost naturally but there's still a lot of people who don't have that if your skin is flawless and you're not buying any chemicals or doing anything to your skin you're just born like that your hair is touching the ground like whatever flex it is that you have i think i should be able to freely give you a compliment without you and your insecurities shaking on the table because i'm doing so that's just me so that's what you think about tiwa savage's comment yes i think tiwa savage is allowed to compliment them i think it's an insecurity thing to have a problem with another woman complimenting someone for being gorgeous because she is not flawed the well, i don't think, I don't think the compliment is the issue i think it's the fact that she dragged this stretch mark into it and made it look like oh but it was innocent oh my God. but it was, it was, it was innocent, innocent. Uh, yes yeah. i understand the innocence in the comments however i still want to understand where the other people are coming from right. because um Tiwa Savage is in the industry. Mm -hmm. I mean, they are all in the same industry. She knows for a fact. In fact, me sitting down here, I don't even um, gush over anybody's picture online anymore because I know the things that could have happened before that picture comes out. So it could have been edited, it could have been color, whatever, mm -hmm. everything, color balancing and blah, 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 to hide some things and all that. So I don't think the part of this, she could tell her she's beautiful without bringing a stretch mark into it. What if she really now has stretch marks, which is now the you case? You know what's actually... And then me, that I is making her feel like, oh, so personalizing is a bad issue well that's the no. thing why is it a bad thing because somebody it's not doesn't supposed to have be a that bad problem thing, but when like you if have I the say... kind of influence that tiwa savage has and then you glorify the fact that not having strike mark is a big deal then it's going to make some but people it, it, think wait, about themselves and wonder so up. this check mark is i have a mother, is a problem right? Savage of course is a she mother, is, and apparently. I think she personalized this. That is, she's trying to tell us that Thank wow, you. That I she has, has it. She has. Yeah. I've never seen it actually. Okay, no, 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 no actually, I disagree. Know. I think both of them actually clearly don't follow each other because both of them have been very loud about their stretch marks. There's a, um, um, there's a picture of Kelly Rowland in the beach, and she, um, it was when this guy's song came out, Kendrick Lamar, when he says, Show me some stretch marks, I'm sure natural hair. I don't mm. know if you remember that song. She posted a picture and commented that she's been loud about her stretch marks. And the same thing for Tiwa Savage. Tiwa Savage has that picture where she's in the beach is really common. I edited it really brown, radiant um, picture. I, she had waist beads on and everything. Yeah, her stretch marks were showing. These women have stretch marks and I think ha have been able to find a really good balance in doing body positivity. But if somebody has a flex, which is why I'm going back to that, like you, if, if, no, no, let me not say, if he has a big tummy, for example, like he should be able to be comfortable with that. But just because I give Benny Ark a compliment about his six, ma his six packs doesn't mean I'm taking anything away from somebody with a big, t um, a big tummy. Because what in we don't want to words. do, sorry. It's not that way. In in other words. You don't have six packs. Can you speak in plain English? What I'm trying to say English? is that you should <laughs> still be able to compliment be somebody's perfection, even if that doesn't... Who's imperfection? Ah, my opinion. I is don't. I don't, whose imperfection are you talking about? It's time for a break. That is, see, I have a flex. Before we come back, <laughs> <laughs> we definitely have a studio guest. 